Today, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about a product that is gonna revolutionize Webflow and how we design and build sites on Webflow. Now, the product is called Realm, and it's a brand new product that just came out around last week or something like that, so I'm brand new to this whole thing. But so far, what I've seen is absolutely incredible. Let me show you guys. Now, I'll leave all the links to everything I'm talking about down below, so if you guys wanna check out Realm, make sure they use the link in the description because it does help out the channel. So this is Realm or the Realm library, and what Realm is is a library of components that you can copy-paste into Webflow. Now, let me show you guys. So this is the dashboard. This is the first thing that you see when you when you sign up and when you log in. And this is exactly what Reloom is. It's multiple variations per component. So we've got multiple header sections. We've got multiple feature sections. We've got pricing sections, contact sections, testimonial sections, and a lot more. If we wanna scroll and check out what all the components are and browse them, we've got this little dropdown which allows us to see everything. So we've got nav bars, footers, hero sections, features, CTA, contact, pricing, testimonial, FAQs, logo. I mean, everything that you would have on a normal, regular, e-commerce or SaaS, you can you can find it here and you can plug it directly into Webflow. Now in this video, we're gonna go over all the components in Reloom and then I'm gonna actually show you guys how to build your own landing page using these components and only using these components and you'll see all the beauty and how fast we can actually build a website with this component system. Now let's get into it. So the first thing we're gonna see here is we're gonna click on browse components and we're gonna view all of the components. That way we can get an idea of absolutely everything they have and you're gonna see just how many components they really have here. Now one thing to know about this site is that they actually built it only using Webflow. So there's no custom code here. It's only Webflow, Airtable, and other no code systems. So they've built a searchable, browsable website only using Webflow and no code, which is absolutely amazing. So back to the components here. When we search through the filters, we'll see that we've got different blogs, nav bars, footers, whatever. We've seen all of this, right? But the amazing thing about this product is that we can filter it by the way we want our layout to look. So if you want the aligned to be to the left, well, we can do that. If you want it to be centered, we can also do that. If you want the image or the video to be aligned to the center, to the right, to the whatever, we can absolutely do that. And that's the amazing thing about this. You have a total control for these components. And that's honestly one of the most attractive parts about this system. Because sometimes you can download or clone a website on Webflow. And the issue is that you have all these components and all these sections, but they're not exactly how you want it, right? Maybe you want the image to be on the left or the right, and you can't really do that unless you start messing with it and, fil and messing around with it. And this is just a much faster and much more streamlined version to do that. Okay, so we've got blogs. And we we can also filter it by elements, right? So we've got buttons, forms, images, text only, logo, slider, whatever, right? So let's let's go ahead and test this. So say I want something to be aligned to the left. I want it to be two columns, and then I want it to be a form. Just like that, we've got exactly what I wanted. We've got something that's aligned to the left, we've got two columns, and then also a form. So all of these would work perfectly for what I want. So let's go ahead and check out all of the nav bars and the footers and everything that they have here. We're gonna go ahead and click on nav bar, and we see that they've got these options. Now these are all the most basic type of designs that you could imagine. There's nothing world breaking about these designs, and that's kind of the point, right? Part of it is this basic design language, but sometimes that's exactly what you want. You want it to be a layout that your users can understand. You don't want it to be earth shattering new because then it takes time to introduce that new design language to customers to get them to understand what the product is. And if the, the layout itself is already perfect, then there's no need to reinvent the wheel. So this is the hero header section. We've got about 20 different versions here. And I think in total, this entire component library has over 300 different component sections, right? So that gives you an idea of, of how many different styles you could include in your website. Let's check out the feature section here because a lot of the time that is where the, the most meat of meat is right these feature sections and here we can see what these different layouts would look like we've got a median length section heading over here we've got different points one and two and also a description then we've also got the image on the right and if you want this exact same thing but then with a video then we can also find that right here and again that's the beauty of this right okay now enough with the component system let's go ahead and actually build a landing page in like five minutes using this system or using this component system and guys I want to know your opinion as well let me know what you'd use Reloom for in the comments down below all right let's get back into the video so you guys might remember a couple videos ago, I designed and built this site on Webflow using Figma. I transferred all the, the text sizes, the files, everything. I built it onto Webflow, right? If you haven't watched that video, make sure you go ahead and watch that one right there. And so what we're gonna do in this video is that we're gonna copy this exact design using this Reloom library, and we're gonna do it in, in a fraction of the time, right? So let's go ahead and click over here. Now this is our Webflow page. And one of the first things that you need to do when you're actually using this system is you need to clone the style guide. And what that's gonna allow you to do is have the same headings, 
things, the same sizes, the, the same fonts, everything, right? It's gonna be able to be exact the way that they designed it, which is great. So I've already done that over here. You can see that this is the, the style guide. All I had to do was clone it and it appears like this. So the first thing that we need to do here is if we wanna copy this hero is go back to Reloom and I'm gonna look for a hero section. So let's go ahead and click hero header sections. And I see that my style is maybe a large text or medium text. We've got the body text, the button, and then an image on the right. So we can go ahead and do that. And I'm not really finding exactly what I want right away. So what we're gonna do here is use the filter section and go ahead and find it like that. So say I want the image slash video to be on the right. That's doing it for me. I want buttons and two columns. Okay, so what we have here is something that will get us 95% of the way. But if I only want one button, which sometimes you might only want one button, then you need to fill out that 5%, right? You need to fix whatever isn't directly done for you. But again, I mean, that's fine. So all we have to do for this to work is mind blowing. All we have to do is go ahead and click copy and that's it. That's all you have to do. You click copy, you go into your site, you click command V or paste and it pastes it into the Webflow project for you. Now, if I wanted to, I could go ahead and publish this and this would be a real working site, which is amazing. But I'm not gonna do that because we're not really ready yet. So we're, what I'm gonna do over here is just copy all this information in two seconds. Okay, so now that I've copied the images and the text, here is what we have. Now, it's not a carbon copy of what we had, but again, some, some minor manipulation and we'll get it. So what we're gonna wanna do here is change the color to the section header. We're gonna wanna change that to some sort of green like we had before, maybe something like that. Go ahead and change this to be white be white again. We're gonna wanna delete this again because I mean, it got us 95% of the way there, but we just need to fill out that, that other percent. We're gonna grab this color over here. We're gonna type in find locations. Okay, and so now we've got the main information and what we're missing here is the nav bar. So we're gonna go ahead and find a nav bar. We're gonna go to browse components, nav bars, and okay, let's see here. We've got the logo on the left and then three different sections on the right or three different tabs on the right. What I'm seeing here is that this is probably the closest thing. So we're gonna go ahead and click copy and we're just going to paste it directly into the body. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move that above. And again, I'm just gonna change the color to be exactly what I want. I'm just gonna grab the same color here and I'm just gonna change these links to be white. And then link four we can just get rid of because we have three anyways. And then this button we can do get rid of as well. This we can name what we had here. So team, about us, and origin. So we've got team, about us, origin. Okay, now this navbar menu looks right, but it's a bit small. So what we wanna do is just extend it to be around 50% of the site. And that gets us pretty close, right? For, for within, within the time frame here. And guys, if this isn't the nail in the coffin for this product, then I absolutely do not know what it is. The best thing about Reloom isn't that you have all these components. It can copy paste and create websites in minutes, right? It's not that. It's not the fact they have hundreds of different options. It's not that either. It's the fact that if you click tablet and mobile and sideways mobile, everything is done for you already. If you go into sideways mobile, then it's also done for you. And again, if you go into regular mobile, then it's also ready for you. Now, if I go ahead and click preview, we can go ahead and click this as well. And the links aren't there obviously because it's the, the wrong color, but it works guys. Everything is here, it works. If I want to move the image above the text, like sometimes you might want to, then I need to go in and do this manually. However, I mean, it's not the end of the world, right? It brought you 95% of the way there. Now the last thing that you need to do is just finish it off. So now if I want to, I can just drag it above and there we have it. The image is now above. And again, this this would change it in, in desktop, but I mean, you know how to go ahead and, and change that up. So here we see just how crazy this component library is, right? I mean, it's not 100% of the way there. We didn't really carbon copy this, but it got us 90% of the way there. And if I want to, I can then spend an extra 10 minutes really nailing down these the fonts, the typography, getting all the sizes right, all the, all the spacings correct. But the point is that the bare bones are built for you. And that's a huge benefit for all designers and all freelancers. Now, there is some restraints about this and I wanna explain it as well because obviously it would only be fair. So this is amazing for speed and for bulk, right? If you're designing a lot of sites and you're building a lot of sites and time is your main issue, then this is amazing for you, especially if you're building e-commerce sites, SaaS sites, right? Sites for startups that have really similar component systems like feature on the left and explaining on the right, right? This is amazing and it's, it's gonna be super beneficial for you. However, if you wanna build something like a portfolio site or something that is a bit more personalized and isn't and doesn't feel so carbon copy to everything else then this might not be exactly what you need now the benefit of this is again you can just use the same layouts that everybody uses but if you want something with a crazy animation if you want to use 
some out of the box, out of this world design, then this isn't for you. Now with that said, I do think that this is gonna be beneficial to 90% of all designers out there, right? The, the main purpose of this is for freelance designers, not, not necessarily portfolios. And so I think this is an amazing product and I really think you guys should look into it. Okay guys, so if you do wanna use this and you do wanna check it out, then make sure that you use a link in the description because again, it will help out the channel. So thank you guys very, very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope really is gonna be helpful for you. And if it is, let me know in the description what you guys would actually use this for and what, what use cases you guys see for it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.